So the stock market has spoken. Last week we finally saw a bit of a volatility spike as something that we have been uh, discussing here in this free in these free YouTube videos and certainly to our clients on a daily basis. We've been walking th people through the scenarios into October, uh, what the, some of the reasons could be for a spike of volatility uh, using the market rover, which is right there, which tells us when sectors and groups of stocks go bullish, bearish in different time frames. And so the stock market now spoke last week and the question is where do we go from here? So I wanted to give you guys a little perspective on uh, arguably the most important part of the U.S. stock market, which continues to be technology, where we thematically have been getting, um, getting cautious on as early as June. And relatively speaking, really technology hasn't done anything versus the S&P since then. So I want to give you uh, both a relative and an absolute chart to start off the week to hopefully help you. This is the stuff that we've been telling clients now for some time. And um, so let's go over here and give you a little bit of perspective with a quick chart. So if you remember in these videos last week, we, we, I walked you guys through it as well using the market rover. We saw the uh, parts of the market deteriorate really in, in real time and you can see more and more parts of the market here uh, are now, if I, fl if I make it like this, you can see short term, um, short term bullish, we're left with only energy stocks, healthcare and industrials and quite frankly that's in jeopardy and we have a lot more red here short term than we have green. Even in the medium term we saw a couple of things happen last week financial short, medium term uh, uh, bearish and uh, certainly short term bearish. So if you flip over to the chart and look at the, 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 um, the QQQ, which is a NASDAQ 100. And what you can see here, this is just a weekly chart. So the weekly increments using weekly candlesticks or weekly bars, if you will. And you can see with last week's move, we essentially started breaking below, uh, below trend. That's the support line since the spring of this year, more or less. And you can see we snapped that last week, a big outside week. Now, that's one way of looking at it, but we still have to give the bulls the benefits of the doubt because we arguably remain barely within this trading range, right? So it's not quite over yet uh, until the fat lady has sung, if you will. What's more interesting though to me is that if you look at technology, QQQ, and we divide this by the, um, by the S&P 500, you can see that relatively speaking, technology has actually been a little bit weaker uh, than the broader market since about June, which is more or less where we started getting quite cautious on tech. Not that we wanted to be short tech, although uh, that just quickly shifting here, and clients will find out about that very soon, but we want it to be relatively no longer uh, longer than the market here. And that has been a good call so far. Now, what's interesting about this whole space here is we look at the semiconductor stocks, the SMH, which we always talk about is are really, really important. Again, the weekly charts here, and you can see last week we had the first weekly close below this moving average here. That's your 50 week moving average. And we closed below there for the first time in uh, a lengthy period of time. We had a couple of tries, but we finally closed below it last week. Even more important, if we take the semiconductor stocks and divide those by the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ 100, so now we're looking parts of tech and divided by large cap tech, you can see that relative weakness that we have seen in semiconductor stocks um, all along. So um, that to me shows that semiconductor stocks uh, which are a really, really important part of tech could be uh, something that could see more downside from here as well. And, uh, and, uh, and that's how we uh, look at the, uh, at the market here heading into a new week. So that is um, a little bit of uh, analysis for you here starting off a new trading week. I hope this is helpful and makes sense. If you guys have any questions or commentary, please leave them down below. If you like this video, if you like this analysis, please give us a thumbs up like. We'd love to hear any feedback from you guys. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.